Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy sent me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon. Then, end your own life. No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order. power reacting with the Earth Pulse. Extraordinary. I begin to see. Still, giving your brother's name to a Moloch, you've strayed so far. Velvet, wake up. Just let me sleep a little more, Silica. You rascal. Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him. <gasps> oh. Where am I? Did they... kill me? My wounds are gone. Bad fever. Uh... Please don't die, Velvet. You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. First, we've got to get out of here. Just hang in there, Luffy said.
exit should be around here somewhere. Where do we go now? Is this place anyway? Where's the exit? What the hell is this place? It's an Earth Pulse. So you survived. Let's not count our blessings just yet. It looks like we've been sealed inside. But at least we're still alive. Can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place. An Earth Pulse. So that's what this is. Yeah. It's like a river flowing with nature's life energy. Earth pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafayette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafayette possesses the power to return us home, but... Uh... He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. Don't talk like that! Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. Even you? This lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Then that's no help at all. An exorcist would work. We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malachim, so that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Moloch's vessel. I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Not one step closer! I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever. You don't mince words, do you? Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it. <laughs> uh, uh. 
velvet. Don't die. Fine. What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters, but since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette. I see. O oh, child of the fountain of creation, these vows we exchange. May our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. Such... such power! How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat! He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? What was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. Ten gold? You're on. What in the? Luffy said, "What did that exorcist do?" What happened to you? I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to, then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist disappeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides... His power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, alright? My darling Ten Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! I won't let her get away from me! Oh, oh. 